have that kind of sympathy. I wish I did, Rev, that you had. Because I look at this as a drunk driver who injured himself in a wreck and killed the oncoming sober driver. Uh, Donald Trump has injured himself and injured and, and 200,000 people, other drivers, uh, have died uh, due to the coronavirus. So I don't have sympathy for Donald Trump. His response has been homicidal negligence. He also goes to a campaign event. Apparently, he and certainly his staff and the chief of staff and others knowing that he has been exposed to somebody who's testing positive and apparently has COVID. This too gets to what certainly looks like back to this idea of homicidal negligence. Uh, one of the reasons why we are obviously so skeptical of the way that they've been describing the president's condition is because this is a White House wolf that has obviously consistently withheld information, uh, offered counterfactual false information. We are now seeing uh, the results, Wolf, of, of uh, five years from the president's candidacy throughout his time in the White House uh, of, of his falsehoods and his lies uh, coming back to bite him. It has to be a humiliation for this president who's been making jokes about the mask that Joe Biden wears, almost created a 2020 campaign of mocking the mask wearing public. And here he is hobbling to Walter Reed Hospital on Marine One. Masha, what do you see happening in America right now with a country unable to know what to believe about the president's health? Well, you know, Brian, uh, there have been a lot of comparisons to the Soviet Union in the last couple of days, and I think they're not unwarranted. The particular period that I'm thinking about is something that I've written about a lot, which were the days uh, of Stalin's death watch. What we have now is a, is a prima facie evidence of a person who became president by gaslighting the public, hiding his own failures, his lack of capacity and ability, and now finds himself in Walter Reed Hospital. And here you see Joe Biden showing you what a real man does, what a real human being does. Well, my first thought was we didn't have to wait long into October before we got our October surprise. This morning, the president is learning in the worst possible way you can't argue your way out of this pandemic. The president's positive test comes after months of a dangerous gamble, downplaying COVID-19, floating public health regulations and minimizing the dangers of the virus. Is this a moment of reckoning for the president? Recklessness, negligence, ignorance. The recklessness and the denialism and the, 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 the anti-medicine position. So I don't have sympathy for Donald Trump. But it certainly is not that much of a surprise. This is not surprising. Not a surprise. I'm not surprised. Not surprising.